Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 14.7 update. As you can see, I had taken a screenshot before. So it came around 911.9 MB on my iPhone XR. So yes, after waiting for so many days, guys, iOS 14.7 is now officially available for all iOS 14 supported device. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the update details and the new features and the new changes. If you are updating to iOS 14.7, 14.7 so make sure to watch this video till the end and as you can see this is my iPhone 10R and let me show you first this is an iPhone 10R if I go to general and about as you can see this is an iPhone 10R so we're going to talk a lot about this you know update and also I had taken other details as a screenshot as well so we'll go through that as well so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you're new here do consider giving this video thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. As you can see, if I tap on the software version, it says iOS 14.7 and the build number is 18G69. From the model name, as you can see, this is an iPhone 10R. And as I had said that I had taken a screenshot before, so let's compare that. So the update came in about 911.9 MB. Now, if you are on iPhone 10R and coming from iOS 14.6 to and updating to iOS 14.7, it will be about the same size but if you are updating from iOS 14.5 or maybe the older versions of iOS so the update size could vary for you as well. So now with that being said now let's have a look at the details before updating we have about 27.37 gigabytes of available space and after updating as you can see the storage space has little bit increased so right now it is 28.02 GB so you know in this uh, update actually I was expecting a new modem firmware so before updating the modem firmware was 3.04.01 but sadly after updating to iOS 14.7 as well as you can see the modem firmware is still 3.04.01 I'm not sure about other devices so if you're having iPhone 11 11 Pro or maybe iPhone 12 there will be a modem firmware update let me know in the comment section below if you are using any model other than iPhone 10R whether you are able to see a new modem firmware or not so now talking about the build number as I have said before so previously the build number was 18F72 and the right now the build number is 18G69 so that's the difference in the build number so now let's talk about the little changes that we are able to see so now in terms of changes guys I will was not able to notice many changes but yes there were definitely few changes as in you know there were few couple of bugs that was I was facing with uh, Wi-Fi so in terms of Wi-Fi if I was able to connect with uh, some of the Wi-Fi networks before that having you know a special character in the Wi-Fi names so those were causing actually the network issues you know the networks uh, settings was not working so those issues have been fixed now and the Wi-Fi is working fine and in terms of you know performance it is as smooth as before there are not a lot of many changes in terms of performance performance but in terms of battery life people were actually skeptical about the battery life because although the iOS 14.6 was a good update in terms of battery life but in iOS 14.7 as it's coming more near to iOS 15 I think so it would be refined because I would take some more days you know four to five days to circle back to you guys how is the battery life so do stay tuned for that but as of now let's check the battery health so as you can see still my iPhone 10R supports maximum capacity it is at 90% and it still supports peak performance capability so as you can said yesterday night i updated my iphone 10r to ios 14.7 as you can see the screen on time you know those were of ios 14.6 so give me some time so it takes generally you know a couple of days to set the things in the background so of course i'll circle back to you guys regarding the battery life so then again this was just a little video i wanted to show you that i uh, you know ios 14.7 is available for all the officially 
iOS 14 supported device and many of the couple of bugs were fixed and there were many changes as well let me show you one so if I go to this weather widget depending on the city or the country you would be now able to see the air quality so that's new there in terms of you know podcast application there were couple of things like if I click on shows and there were many things like showed and followed there are little nifty changes in around between the settings and uh, that you could find out but in terms of major changes and features there are none as we are closely moving towards iOS 15 but I could say this update is all about stability and if you want your uh, you know device to be more stable then definitely definitely do update to iOS 14.7 so that's all the message that I wanted to convey so many of people asked me about the battery life so give me some time let me use the phone and I will circle back to you